The next example of color match is one that has been around for quite some time. And it's actually um, uh, in, under the image, under the image menu within Photoshop. We'll close this one out so we don't have a lot of stuff running here. And this is what we're going to start with. We're going to start with two images. I've already I've already masked this uh, foreground out. So we've got this um, sky that's in really uh, very warm and and purplish color, and then we've got this background image that I've masked out. It was um, it was a field with a blue, really blue sky, and I purposely made the grass kind of green for this example. So we these are the two images that we have. Uh, a warm sky and a green grass. So that's the uh, what we're going to start with. And then we're going to use the technique color match and we're going to match this foreground to the sky using color ma color match in um, So so here's what we have. We have a green grass. And I'm going to select the green grass and I'm going to go up here to image adjustments and down to match color and it's going to open a dialog box can you see it now yes we we can see it <laughs> okay so my source image is the image that we're on demo image adjustments and my layer that i want to match from is layer one and boom, it took took the the image that I'm trying to match, and I wanted to match from layer one. And Photoshop automatically took the color palette from layer one and applied it to the grass. And I didn't have to do anything but click. And that particular feature has been around for quite some time. Now, the it the nice thing about this is it also has some luminosity adjustments because sometimes the the luminosity of your element that you're trying to match and the intensity may not be a good match to your other element. So you may have to make some adjustments. So they do give you a couple sliders here. Um, that you can do some fine tuning adjustments if you want. Um, you may have to throw some other adjustment layers over there for saturation and things like that. The next technique I'm going to show you where the tone, the toning of the element is really far off and we need to do a few more things other than just click one button. So, so they're not all this easy. Um, the, the nice thing about demoing is you can always pick images that make it look easier than it actually is. <laughs> um, so <laughs> that's the that's the beauty of YouTube videos. Sometimes you, they give you the, the impression on the YouTube videos that it's all perfect. And then you go to try it on your image and it really is horrible um, because they spent a, a ridiculous amount of time uh, finding the perfect image that makes it look really, really easy when it's really, really not. Um, so I'm going to show you one that's really, really not and give you a technique that will always work um, because it's got a lot more steps with it. <laughs> 